today I'm going to be unboxing and setting up the new Alcatel A30 unlocked quad band GSM phone. Now the A30 is a budget Android phone that's currently running Android 7.0 and it's one of the few phones that Amazon offers as a Prime exclusive. So it's currently available at two price points at around $60 for Prime members and around $100 if you're not a Prime member. And as with all the other devices that I unbox and set up, I will be doing a full review of this device. So stay tuned for that. If you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe to stay tuned tuned for the full review. So let's go ahead, get it out of the box and set it up. So to get it out of the box, I'm going to first cut open this security seal and then open the box up. And the first thing you'll see when you open the box up is the device itself. We won't be setting this up in a moment, but I'm going to set this aside for now. And I'm going to open the shelf up and see what else is inside. And the first thing you'll find is a quick start guide and some sort of safety and troubleshooting guide. And next you have the AC wall adapter to charge the device. And last but not least, you have the USB to micro USB charge cable to charge and connect the device. And now it's time to set the phone itself up. So let's take it out of this plastic cover and peel off this cover that covers the screen. And there you go, you have the device itself with its large five inch HD display and this textured back. And as I said, I will be doing a full review. So I'll look at how it performs in that full review, but let's go ahead and set it up now. And the first step to doing this is to power on the phone by pressing down on the power button on the side. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna press down on the power button to power it on. And there you go, it's booting up. And the first step after that is to select your language. I'm gonna select English United States and hit get started. And then it asks me to insert the SIM card. Now you can do this now, or you can do this later. I'm actually gonna show you how to insert the SIM card into this phone. And the first step to inserting the SIM card is to peel open the rear cover. And in order to do this, there's this little notch on the side and you're gonna pull the cover off by pulling on the cover on the edges and then gently peel off the cover along the edges till the cover comes off. Now be patient with this process. You don't wanna rush it and damage your cover. So go gently around the edges till the cover pops off. Now the phone's SIM card slot is on the top right hand corner and it only accommodates a micro SIM card and that's what I'm gonna to insert today. So take your micro SIM card and insert it into the slot all the way in. And now is also a good time to insert a micro SD card into the micro SD card slot. And this allows you to expand the phone's memory. And that's what I'm going to do. And now pop the micro SD card all the way into the slot like that. And now place the cover of the phone gently back on and then start pushing down from the camera end. So push down gently along the edges till the cover seats itself into place. And there you go, the cover is on. Make sure there are no gaps along the edges and make sure that the cover is fully seated. And now I've powered the phone back on and I'm gonna start the setup process again. I'm gonna hit get started. And on the next screen, it asks me how I'd like to set the phone up. And in my case, I'm just gonna say set up as new. And on the page that follows, I'm supposed to log into my Wi-Fi network. I'm gonna do that, select my Wi-Fi network, enter the password and log in. Okay, so I've done that and I'm gonna hit connect and it's now connecting to the Wi-Fi network. And now it says it's checking the network and adding a few finishing touches. So let's wait for that to finish. And now it's checking for software updates. And on the page that follows, it asks me to sign into my Google account. Now this is the same email and password you would use for your Gmail email. You can of course skip this if you'd like, but to use most of the Google apps and other Android features, it's recommended that you sign in. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sign in. And the screen that follows asks me if I accept the terms and conditions, I'm gonna hit accept. And on the screen that follows, it wants to know if I'd like to turn on some of Google's services. For example, it asks me if I'd like to automatically back up device data. I'm not gonna do this. I'm gonna unselect that. It asks me if I'd like to use Google's location service. I'm gonna leave that checked and on. And then it asks me if I'd like to improve the location accuracy using Wi-Fi. I'm gonna leave that on as well. And finally, it asks me if I'd like to help improve the Android experience by automatically sending diagnostic information. I'm also gonna leave that checked and then hit next. And on the next screen, it asks me how I'd like to protect my phone, either through a pattern, pin, 
password or skipping the step entirely. In my case, I'm gonna skip it, but I highly recommend that you set up one of these, preferably something like a pin. It just prevents other people from having direct access to your phone when you don't want them to have access to it. But for me, I'm just gonna hit not now. And then it asks me if I'd like to skip anyway, I'm gonna hit skip anyway. And on the next screen, it asks me if I'd like to do anything else, like add another email account or add a payment method, or even review additional apps and a few other things. I'm not gonna do any of that. I'm just gonna hit set up later. And on the page that follows, it asks me to log into my Amazon account. And as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, this is a Prime exclusive phone. And that's why it's asking you to sign into your Amazon on account. You can always skip this, but I do recommend signing in. However, for now, I'm just gonna hit skip and say, remind me later. And there you go, the phone is set up and now ready to use. And if you're looking to buy this phone, I'll leave a link to the phone in the description below this video. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I will be doing a full review of the Alcatel A30. So if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to stay tuned for that full review. And if you found this video useful, please give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to stay tuned for more reviews, unboxings, and how-to videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.